out with the ink. It's techno talk. So this printer, which is the MG6450, died on me. Yes, yeah, the page black. And so whenever I printed high, I just got the string of sadness. Um, I was basically advised that my printer had broken. I got one of those printer repair kits that did not work. Let me tell you. So on the usual Edge Techno Talk style where we install Cat 6A cable rather than Cat 5E, we went ahead we not only bought a new printer, but bought a laser printer. Why? Ed's tech talk. Yeah. So here it is. It's my lovely Canon printer. You won't see the box ever. You know, when I move it, it messes out on all my placemats. But oh, I hear you cry. <laughs> so it's that. What lovely packaging. We're going to open it, otherwise it'd be a great printer, wouldn't it? Film slitter, you can get them from Tool Station. Fantastic piece of kit. Just open this. Oh, and we love it. Don't you just love it when you're greeted by that welcoming sign? So it says, bring the printer out. How lovely. So we'll go through all this. Got once again some more packaging. Being just advised that I'm a bit scruffy here. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see, you're probably on the tallest setting, but we got a printer in here. Um, so just open it. Oh, and look at that. It's a 21st century, we've still got CDs in brand new technology. How sad. And here is the printer. Now you may cry, your edge, your edge techno talk. You have complete overkill. Why not scanner? And we'll come to that slightly later on in the video. I've got a nice, neat solution. There. So inside the box you get this lovely CD, of course you probably could use that, but you know, Ed, the overkill channel, no CD player in sight, so put it on as music and it goes, hey, you got this lovely thing, yeah, it was inside the box but I took it out, um, we've got this power cord, you know, we live in Britain so we do have this kettle plug thing. Uh, and we've got this box, which I haven't quite opened, so we can just uh, cut this with our lovely cutty tool. It says we're going to cut it, no we're not. Uh, and we've got lots of stuff in here, very useful. Oh, we need a USB cord, yes, we're not quite wireless quite yet. So you got that. And I'm assuming this is warranty card, yep. So I think it's got 20,000 pages within warranty. It's madness, madness. Setup guide, of course, Ed knows it all, so he probably won't be using this. Um, and so I think the first thing we're gonna do is just take off all this lovely blue tape. So we might do a time lapse for that, and then you don't get to see Ed doing silly things. Well, you do, but somewhat. suggest that we you know get the printer cartridges up and 
have a YMCK fest. So we go YMCK. It does actually suggest to just shake them around. Uh, I heard that it improves the life inspect expectancy. So we want our printer to last for a long time. Um, it is worth noting that these are not full cartridges. Uh, the full versions, it says, I think, on the back, do for colour 1,000 pages, uh, and black do one and a half thousand pages. So the black's expected this time to 700 pages, and the colours are supposed to last 500 pages. But you know, you, you don't print colour much, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, through my calculations, this printer, without replacing ink in our needs, will last two and a half years. So, good financial investment, I suppose. So now, just put these back in the uh, in the printer, uh, and then we'll move it downstairs to the messy office to continue <laughs> the next phases. So, we'll do that, and we'll power it on and. Do some software, shall we? We shall, of course we shall. Right. Yay! It's that clapperboard noise again. So as with any printer, it is advised that you put paper in it. And I'm not sure why printers recommend you put paper in them. It just seems like a very weird concept to me. But if we look here on the front, you don't actually have to look. It's just all this presenting nonsense. I mean, it's literally as simple as you recklessly pulling this off. Those pop out. If you did want to put it back in, you did have some trouble with this earlier. You just push that in uh, and you can slot that back in. But I've got this Sainsbury's cheap printing paper, which I just slot in, he says, like that. And I put all these tabs to make sure it's tight, which is what they say, and you can adjust it for different size paper. So we've done that. Oh, I should have done it a different way, but you know, sorry Samsung, I am gonna make my printer work at some stage. Now, that's as far as that goes. It does not go flush in as far as I can see. Yeah, it says there, do that. Uh, you could put glossy paper in. Now, of course, I know wireless is a thing, but it's not quite as wireless as not needing power cables. So, we'll put these in, and it is worth noting this is not my desk. Yeah, which is too messy. Of course, you can see my networking gear. I did that, but nothing else. So, we'll just plug that in, uh, and then we'll set it up on the computer. So, we've wired this lovely printer up. Yes, it's a lovely printer because it actually works, it kind of helps. So, should we press the button of doom? I mean, button of onness. But it's worth noting that tells you how much it will flash red, I assume, if they're empty. Eco mode turns them rather than a bitmap, which is not compressed into a sketch. Wireless protected something or other. Have a script. Uh, you press that on your router and it pairs. Cancel button, on button, an error button or networking button. Three, two, one. Boo! Oh no, it's working. That's silent. Should we tell it to do something? Right, so we'll load up our Mac and we can get started. So, we ran into a few issues on this. The Mac did not recognise it because it did not have the driver. So you just click here. Uh, and I'm, I'm assuming this works for everything. You get printers. It's a uh, colour printer, does nothing more. Um, and it's the 430 something or other. There it goes. We just click get downloads. Uh, sorry about the background noise here. Print driver. You can download that. Click 
continue with that. Yes, I accept. And that's going to come down like that. So that's just loaded up. Now, if we went into system preferences, click plus, I'll just put that on screen. So, for 30, very important. Choose a driver. Well, we can, we've got this button which says other. And if we remember downloads, it should be one which says printer driver, install software, back printer. Ah, oh, we've got to open it. So, let's open that proves that Ed's Techno Talk is not perfect, so printer driver. Oh so tempting. Should we try that? Maybe. Hopefully it'll work. It's doing nothing, no. So Mac can still Mac printer, printer driver dot package. Continue that continue install if we click add printer comes up here uh choose driver auto select we auto select something there we go and we can just click add so that's added and that that's good so we now load up the app. We'll just share this. Oh, and that should be on the network now. So, should we get something up on from Word? Take a tour. And shall we print this? Just go print. Hopefully, yes. Uh, it's worth noting this will take four times slower than a sort of printer, so we'll swap to the next camera. So let's try printing something on this printer. So we'll print from one to one. We'll print. Ooh, it's working. She's a shock. Isn't it? So it's a very shock to us. And you can hear it going around all the layers. And all I'm doing is welcome to words. So if it if it comes out, I'll be amazed. And there it is. Welcome to Word. That is fantastic. Now there are some of you out there did say I wanted photocopying and for that you use something called office lens. Office lens is something which Microsoft have developed which allows you to freely crop photos. So we'll do that in another video but I think it's six o'clock and I'm now tired. So thanks for watching Ed's Techno Talk. Say subscribe for next week's video. Welcome to Word.